the idea behind bringing everybody together was to have a truly collaborative, cooperative approach to this disease. Um, there's been phenomenal work done by individual labs around the world uh, and we felt it was appropriate and timely to bring all these great minds together so that they could all work uh, as, as one unified machine and it was quite clear from the meeting that everybody wants to work like that because together we will defeat this disease. The outcome really of the meeting was a consensus in a number of areas in how best we can tackle this uh, nasty brain tumour that still kills too many children and those that survive are still left with significant problems in the long term. One of the biggest things that we've learnt recently which were reach international consensus on was that medulloblastoma is actually not one disease but at least four different diseases with different drivers behind the diseases. Firstly it's important for um, diagnosis because there are different subtypes of disease are going to need different diagnostic tests to pick them up. Secondly it will make a big difference to how we treat each of the different subtypes. Some will need more therapy, some will need less therapy, some will need specific targeted therapies targeting potentially the mutations that are causing the tumour in the first place. So that's known as molecular targeted therapy. So this is how we're moving into this individualised therapy or treatment era. Uh, it's, it's here, it's here and now and this is um, a big step forward for this disease once considered a single disease. We're understanding better what makes these tumours tick uh, and if we understand what makes them tick we can understand what makes them untick and how to kill them and really this is a massive step forward for us understanding the, the genetics of this disease and, 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 and the research that has been done internationally has really moved this disease into a different stratosphere now. Over the last five years the amount of research that has come out in medulloblastoma has, has been incredible and it's really been explosive. It's a, it's a paradigm shift. Um, when you've been treating a disease that is clearly made up of different types of diseases under one umbrella, your treatment is not specific. This really is giving more specific therapy to the underlying causes of, of the particular subgroup of the disease. So it's a complete shift from what we've done in the past and having international agreement is the only way to be able to move it forward. This is huge. I mean, it's, uh, it's what everyone strives for in, in, in science and in research is to actually uh, translate the findings in laboratories into the, into the clinic to make a difference to the children so that it's not just done for the sake of doing it because it's interesting, but it's actually meaningful and will make a difference to children the world over, of course. And that's the whole point is not just to make things better for children here in Perth, but to make sure better for things children in the US, in Canada, Italy, wherever they may come from with this disease, they will benefit from um, these type of meetings which reach this type of consensus and where people agree to work very closely together and share data much earlier on than otherwise sometimes happens. Being on both sides of the fence I find a huge advantage. Um, you have um, the ability to know what is really needed in the clinic, like I have a um, uh, absolute clear picture of what happens to the children in the long term that survive these diseases and I know that we need to um, alter the therapies so that we can give them less side effects so they have a better quality of life when they're cured. Equally we want to cure those children at the moment that have a very low chance of cure and so um, having that clinical interface with the patients sort of drives me in, in the research to bring things forward and, and being able to, having been involved in this international meeting was a huge honour and privilege uh, and um, I can't tell you how much we all got out of it, um, you know, rubbing shoulders with, you know, the world's best uh, all here in Western Australia at one time. It was an incredible uh, experience for all of us and uh, it will be replicated many times over. I mean, this is the beginning of much bigger and better things to come.